we thank you for this chance to learn about ourselves and learn about one another. Amen. <laughs> we just put people together in the same spaces, and especially around something as emotional as the museum visits, we knew that relationships would, would forge, and so um, that's exactly what happened. We started talking about things we could do to bring our communities together, to get people to know each other better, and really know each other on a more than superficial level. Going to the Holocaust Museum was more of an eye-opener for me. And the one exhibit that said, oh my God, for me there, was the gym shoe. When you walk through the museum, all you see is shoes. And on the back wall, it says um, this was the only thing that they didn't burn. And it just, just uh, touched my heart when I saw that. And it was just, wow. I always thought the Holocaust was longer than five years. But to know the mass number of people that were killed in that short period of time, that made me say, oh my God. It felt differently being there with people from the Jewish faith. And I think it allowed people to feel a, a, a lot more, uh, a lot deeper. Than, they, than we would have had if we had just gone to the museum uh, by ourselves. Walked into one of the railroad cars that was used stuffed with people to transport them to the concentration camps. And it was like, how can a species do this to their own? And then the next day, I go to the African American Museum and see the the schematic drawings of the slave ships, which were large, and in the holes, the, the bottom of the ships were just packed, stuffed like that railroad car, you know? And it, like it was just right in front of me. Whoa. The museum kind of has a framework of the history of slavery and then resilience. And that framework just kind of opened my mind. I had not realized how pervasive and ongoing uh, racism is in this country. And you can, we can change things up, but whether, but it goes far beyond 1865 and the Emancipation Proclamation. It's the struggles to, of, of black entrepreneurs to build practices, to raise, to find homes for their children. Even though people tried to wipe both of our cultures out, both of our races out, we still are persevering. We still are loving and we still have faith. The story is not over, right? We, we've come far, but we also haven't come far. We're both living in a community. We have different beliefs, but we still can live here together and still eat together, share together, and be one big family, definitely.